presentation on um, studying at Hochschule Darmstadt University of Applied Sciences. Um, my name is Marina and I'm joined by my colleague Jessica and we're in charge of incoming students um, at HDA and um, we will tell you a little bit about um, Darmstadt, Germany as well as HDA of course Great. and then we also provide some information on our exchange programs and um, first of all um, yeah you can Jessica? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. These things are bound to happen. Maybe I'm delayed. I'm not sure my audio is not too great, but we'll make it work. Okay, so first of all, if you want to find out what this weird mixture of a dog and a pig has to do with Germany, um, or what this, or why German squirrels are different, you may want to stay with us uh, because we will tell you a little bit about that at the end of our session. Okay, so as I just said, we will be talking a little bit about Darmstadt and Germany as well as HDA and we will, um, yeah, we will tell you a bit uh, about our exchange programs. Yeah, and All right, um, yeah, so I'm Jessica and I'm taking over for now for the next couple of minutes. Um, so you may wonder where is Darmstadt? You may have never heard of it before, but this will change now. Um, so Darmstadt is located in the Rhine-Main area. It's that gray area you see um, in the middle of Germany. Um, it's centered um, right in the, or it's located right in the middle of the Rhine-Main area. And it's one of the main economic hubs of Germany and of Europe. Um, as you can see, there are many large cities close by. You probably have heard of Frankfurt with the um, international airport. Of course, we have Heidelberg, which you might know. Um, it's only like an half an hour south of Darmstadt. Um, we have Wiesbaden, which is the state capital of the state of Hessen, and Mainz. So those are all very big cities close, um, close by. Darmstadt is also um, one of only four cities of science in Germany. I'm sorry, my phone is going off, of course. My colleague is calling. Um, yeah, we have four cities of science in Germany, which means we have a few, uh, quite a few universities located in Darmstadt. Um, Hochschule Darmstadt, the Technical University, um, and another University of Applied Science. And we have lots of research institutes. You probably have heard of the Fraunhofer Institute and the GSI. So, um, and also the European Space Agency is located in Darmstadt. We also have uh, many international companies located in Darmstadt. Merck is a pharmaceutical company, um, the te telecom or software, Software AG. So those are all located in Darmstadt and potential uh, companies where you can do internships. All right, and now we want to tell you a little bit more about Darmstadt University of Applied Science. Yeah, so uh, in the picture you can see our um, a sort of cartoonish version of our um, of our main building, uh, the high rise. Uh, building and you can see a lot of students in front of it. So um, HDA is one of the uh, one of the largest universities of applied sciences in Germany. Um, it has 12 departments, which is quite a lot. And we offer over 70 degree programs um, at the bachelor's level, at the master's level, and also two PhD programs. Our key areas of study and research are engineering, of course, um, but also math and natural sciences. Um, we're very big on electrical engineering and information uh, technology as well. And we also have, and that's kind of unique for a University of Applied Sciences, uh, to also have sociology and social and cultural sciences, as well as social work. And we also have more creative focus or creative creativity oriented um, study programs in the fields of architecture, media and design. Um, yeah, we have um, over 17,000 students. Uh, that's quite a lot also for our University of Applied Sciences. And um, interestingly, um, about 20% of them are actually international students. Um, that's more than the German average. Um, and we have uh, over 130 partner universities in a lot of countries. <laughs> so we're very, we have an international campus, right? Um, so 
another thing about um, HDA is that um, we're very practice oriented um, and our professors must have had at least five years of practical experiences working in their field. This means that they worked um, with a company, um, either a local company or a globally operating company. And um, so once they get to teaching, they really know, you know, what's yeah, what's needed in the real world. Uh, yeah. OK, so we'll talk a little bit um, about our exchange programs. Um, we have two different ex uh, different types of, uh, of exchange programs. Um, one is the classical study abroad semester, meaning um, students come uh, come to HDA uh, <coughs> for five or ten months uh, or for one or two semesters or terms. Um, and we also have uh, short term programs that run for three to four weeks. Right. And I will be talking about the study abroad semester. Um, so first of all, these are our semester dates. Um, we have two semesters. Semester one is called the, um, the winter semester <laughs> or winter winter semester. It runs from uh, September through the end of February. And our second semester is also called Zoma semester or spring semester, summer semester. There's a lot of terms out there. Um, it starts in March and it runs until the end of August. OK, so that's probably one of the uh, yeah, most interesting uh, things to talk about because the, the question is, OK, what can I study at HDA? Um, we offer um, a variety of English taught classes, um, mainly in the fields listed here, animation and game design, uh, in business administration and econ economics, uh, business psychology, computer science, as well as software engineering, um, design, that could be interior design or graphic design, um, in engineering, in the different branches of engineering, um, electrical engineering, mechanical, uh, mechanical engineering and plastics engineering. Uh, we also offer English taught classes in information science. Uh, we have classes in motion pictures and video production. Um, also, we have a very interesting study program because I think it's, correct me if I'm wrong, Jessica, but I think it's the only applied sociology uh, study program in all of Germany uh, at this point. So mm -hmm. it's it's sociology put into practice. Uh, and um, we also have English taught classes in social and cultural sciences as well as social work. Um, you may find one or two English taught classes also in, in other study programs, but these are the study programs that you can have a full uh, full workload uh, of classes, right? OK, so before you uh, if you make the decision to come to, to Hochschule Darmstadt, uh, we will, of course, uh, uh, offer assistance. Uh, we will help you find classes that correspond to your study program. We will help you find accommodation. We will help you with the visa application process because that might be. Uh, yeah, what's the word I'm going for here. Uh, it might be it's not <laughs> not really complicated, but it's just you have to fill out forms and we have to it, once you understand it, it's not that complicated, but um, you have to fill out forms and we're there to help you with that because we know it's boring. <laughs> um, and we will also help you out with stuff like, you know, taking out a health insurance plan. These are all things that you obviously have to consider. It's not very interesting to think about these things. So we're there to sort of uh, make the process a little easier for you. OK, um, and of course, we will generally 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 help you prepare for Darmstadt and for Germany because there are some things you know to consider and uh, to take care of before you uh, you come to Darmstadt right and um, we also have a welcome and orientation month um, so it's four weeks of uh, yeah of taking care of things as well as doing fun stuff so we will um, we will help you with all the red tape or administrative stuff that you have to take care of we will do fun stuff together. That's the nicest part. <laughs> and of course, you will uh, you will have the opportunity to get in touch with German language and culture classes. So we have an interdisciplinary um, class uh, about, uh, you know, how cultures work uh, and how German culture works, things like that. And um, for instance, you can see two pictures of the fun stuff we did. So that was our trip to Marburg. Marburg is a city um, 
more or less close to Darmstadt, uh, also in the state of Hessen. And um, it has the, oh, I forgot the English word, timbered houses. Is yes. that a word maybe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always look it up and then I always forget it. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not my basic vocabulary in English, but get the idea. So it looks very, I'm not from the southern part of Germany. So even when I'm uh, like on these trips with those students, because uh, more often than not, I join them. Uh, I'm like, oh, this looks really cute because I'm not used to that because I'm from a different part of uh, of Germany. So it's really it's really nice and uh, just very uh, idyllic, I'd say. Yeah. And then we also like another uh, activity could be, for instance, this is what we did for, to say goodbye to Darmstadt for those about to leave. Um, we were decorating um, yeah, heart shaped gingerbread cookies and then some uh, you know, some students, uh, <laughs> so some students wrote Darmstadt with a little heart on it, and then other students wrote things like that on it. Uh, they took a more, um, yeah, more ironic approach, but that was, it was funny and we had a great laugh. So, you know, you, you get to show your personality if you want to, you don't have to, right? So we're, we're just trying to have a good time and it made us laugh quite a bit. <laughs> okay, some hard facts. <laughs> Um, okay, so you're probably wondering about, you know, okay, how much money does it all cost? And uh, so this is a list of, uh, of oh, I think there's a, there's a mistake, um, of what you should, what you should plan more or less. So rent would be 450. It's possible to find uh, accommodation that is uh, cheaper than that, but we took the average more or less and um, yeah. I think, uh, so it says here, 1,000 euros um, a month. I don't know how, how many dollars is that, Jessica? I have no idea. Um, I don't know. I should have written it down here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but having said that, um, so I think you can get by by even less because, for instance, we calculated 300 euros for food and clothing. That might be true in the beginning, like clothing, if you need something or, but. Of course, it's up to you if you want to spend less on food or um, it's possible is what I'm saying. And um, there's also two one time payments. You have a semester administrative fee of 220 euros and um, there's a housing deposit, but the housing deposit uh, will be paid back to you later. And the semester administrative fee is interesting because it's not it's not a semester. It's not a tuition fee at all because it actually gives you um, it gives you what's called the semester ticket. It's a travel pass for um, for the for almost all parts of uh, the state of Hessen. So you can you, you you know you can take any regional train or any bus, tram, um, whatever, and uh, just for free for the entire semester. So actually, um, it's very cheap. <laughs> you would pay more if you were in, if you weren't a student. And you wanted to use, uh, you know, the uh, public transport uh, for half a year. And um, a little fun fact: some people actually um, sign up for university just to have this ticket. But the German uh, government is trying to prevent this now um, because. And um, the thing is about the Rhein, the Rhein Main area that we talked about. Uh, you have so many large cities close by that you can just you just hop on a train and you explore another city. That's kind of great. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you want to apply, which we, we which we would be thrilled to host you, of course, um, uh, there is a certain link to a to a special database that we use, um, and the application deadlines are first of May for the winter semester, and then first of November for the spring semesters. Um, make sure that you ask your international office to nominate you first, because first you have to apply at your home university for a spot, and then you will apply uh, in our database. Uh, yeah. And then we have some, uh, you know, some links, uh, uh, basically summing up the things that I just said, but sometimes it's uh, it's nice to, to take a look. And um, yeah, if you have questions, you know, just write me an email. I'm always happy to help. And there's obviously, there are going to be some questions that I haven't thought about um, beforehand. So, you know, just drop me an email and uh, yeah, and I'll help you out. Yeah, okay. This is our 
see if we can show the video. video. Um, Marina, let me know if you cannot hear the sound. Okay. This is Sarah. Sarah would like to study abroad for a semester. Germany may be an option for her, but she is not sure which city she would choose. When she thinks of Germany, she thinks of cities like Berlin, Munich, Hamburg, Frankfurt or Cologne. But she has not heard of Darmstadt so far. Darmstadt is located right in the center of the Rhine-Main region. The Rhine-Main region is one of the main economic hubs of Europe and one of the most cosmopolitan regions in Germany. Large cities such as Frankfurt, Wiesbaden, Mainz and Heidelberg are very close to Darmstadt. Or as we say in German, they are only a cat's jump away. Nur einen Katzensprung entfernt. From Darmstadt, you can easily reach other cities in Germany and Europe by bus, train or plane. Plus, Frankfurt Airport is only about 30 minutes away. Darmstadt itself has plenty to offer as well. Beautiful buildings as well as a vibrant culture and nightlife. Also, Darmstadt is the only city of science in Germany. It is home to many well-known research-oriented companies and research institutes. Companies such as Merck, Evonik Röhm and Telekom, which operate on a global scale, are located here as well. So what does this mean? It means that Darmstadt ranks first in the so-called Future Index 2030, placing ahead of Berlin, Munich and Hamburg. Most importantly though, Darmstadt is a friendly city where you can meet people from all over the world. This is why Darmstadt University of Applied Sciences, or HDA as we say, attracts many students from other countries. In fact, about 20% of our students are international students. Classes here are practically oriented and our professors have many years of hands-on experience in their fields. Our study programs range from engineering and business to design and media. What is more, HDA wants to protect the environment. This is why we are constantly creating sustainable technologies and products. For this, HDA has been called an outstanding place of learning for sustainable development by the UNESCO Commission. After your arrival, we will help you get settled at HDA and in Darmstadt. During our orientation days, you will learn about student and campus life and we will help you with your visa application. We will also take trips to beautiful sites in and around Darmstadt. You don't need to have any knowledge of German when you get here, but you are very welcome to take part in our German classes. If you'd like to study with us, just turn to the international office of your home university and ask whether they have a cooperation with us. We look forward to hosting you as an exchange student here at HDA. Wait, okay. <laughs> All right. So, so I hope you were able to uh, see the video. If, if not, uh, if you had some technical issues, um, Hochschule Darmstadt has a YouTube account and you can find the video also online. All right. Um, so I'm going to continue with the short term programs. Um, if you for any reason don't want to or cannot spend an entire semester with us, you have the opportunity to come here for three or four weeks. Um, we do offer a summer and a winter university. Um, and of course, since everything is uh, different uh, last year or has been different last year and is still different due to the Corona pandemic, we will offer a virtual international summer university. It's an online program. It will take place from July 4th until 17th. Um, and we will offer an academic module um, on the topic in transition to a pure green energy economy. So we're combining um, like energy management topics and electrical engineering topics um, in that academic module. You can earn six ECTS. Um, I'm not sure how it converts to US credits, but this is something you can talk to your study abroad office about. Um, as I said, we will offer an academic seminar and also a tutorial um, and a few yeah, virtual leisure time activities. Um, you can have a look at our website. It will be updated within this week because we just made the decision to offer our summer university online. Um, 
as a virtual program this summer, um, so it's not updated yet. Um, I hope that in 2022 uh, we can go back to a yeah, program here in Darmstadt um, and then we would welcome you for three to four weeks. We would show you um, yeah, different cities like Frankfurt or Heidelberg um, or as you can see the picture on the very right, we take you to Rüdesheim um, to show you the, the vineyards that we have close by. So it's a great program that combines a German language course, an academic seminar and um, yeah, lots of free time activities. Um, and I really hope that um, in 2022 everything is going back to normal. But for 2021, if you're interested in that topic, um, you're welcome to join us for an online program. Um, for the Winter University, I'm hoping uh, that we can go back to a program uh, which is taking place in Darmstadt. Um, currently, we're planning um, to have our Winter University from December 30th, 2021 until January 15th. So we will have a New Year's Eve celebration together here in Darmstadt. We will offer two academic modules and um, it's, it's early in the year, we're still planning. Um, so probably a module on international sales and logistics and also a module on digital societies, which is very interesting since we're all um, yeah, exploring the digital world more and more. Um, so this is a, a great um, academic module offered from the Department of Social Sciences. Um, if we're having a yeah, face-to-face on-site program here in Darmstadt, it will also include a German language course. And um, you probably earn either six credits or, um, no, it's six credits, yeah, it's four for the academic seminar and two for the German language course. As I said, we will celebrate uh, New Year's together in Darmstadt um, and we offer excursions to Frankfurt and Heidelberg. And I also hope uh, that we will have as much snow as we had this year. But um, yeah, you're in Wisconsin, you know how snow looks. Um, we have lots of students from Australia and for them it's um, the first time seeing snow. Um, but that, yeah, is something very nice to have for a winter university program. Um, again, look at our website. I'll update it as soon as I know if um, the program takes place and in what form. Um, yeah, so um, here is a little video and I think we do have, yeah, maybe one or two minutes um, to show you the video. This is about our short term programs um, and what you can expect. We are very proud to offer this international program for international students. I thought it's quite interesting because of the location. Darmstadt is a peaceful city, I would say. The individual benefits for students are multifold. Well, it's a short time program. Nevertheless, to get all the international experience we would like young people to get without losing any time. What I really like the most about this program is that I learn a lot about different cultures and countries. Additionally to the international aspect, there's also the educational aspect. The case study about international market it was really, really fun for me. We combine theory with hands-on experience. We work with a company, so it's like real experience. The most memorable thing from this trip will be going to like excursions, meeting with the people we are, seeing the various different cultures. Going to the main tower, looking throughout Frankfurt from a very high level. We had like a lot of downtime and free time to explore on our own. We had fun time where we went rock climbing, different things like that. So those were all really great bonding experience to get to better know um, the people that we were in the program with. It is benefit for us as well to have them here and to understand their cultures. Understanding other cultures is definitely something that's super important. People are coming together and learn to work together. That may help in order to understand some topics even better. People go back and uh, continue their, their studies. 
I can use my issues we learned in class and translate it to back at home, you know. We are looking forward to of it uh, for the next year and uh, we welcome every student from all over the world. All right, that was a video um, that we filmed mostly during the Winter University 2020, which yeah, feels like a lifetime away, um, but it was only like, yeah, a year ago. Um, no, no. Uh, yeah, a lot has happened since then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, yeah, so uh, Maria is uh, gonna yes. uh, give you the solution to, the, to our pictures. <laughs> yes, we still owe you uh, an explanation. Um, okay, so the weird dog and pig mixture is actually, um, it's called a Schweinehund in German. And um, it, this beast sort of uh, represents the weaker self within yourself, right? So you, in German, you say to fight your own Schweinehund or to fight your weaker self. If you want to be lazy on the couch, you don't want to do stuff, but you know you should be doing you know more important things with your life and then you have to fight your schweinehund so this is a special animal um, yeah existent in the uh, in the german language and then as for the squirrel it's just because um, a lot of students or a lot of uh, german learners actually make fun of the german word for squirrel which is eichhörnchen and um, yeah it's in capital letters because it sounds very um, yeah very strong or very hard to you know people whose uh, native language is not german and it's it get it gets made fun of all the time so in this way a squirrel is not you know the, the flow is not yeah not the same flow as in english <laughs> yeah so danke <laughs> and yeah and we hope uh, you liked our presentation and um, if you have questions make sure to yeah to drop us an email and we'd love to host you all right. So I have no idea how to start the. Oh, okay.